Hello traders, welcome back to Simply Forex. Uh, today is Thursday the 15th of June and we will look back at yesterday's trades, we'll look at today's potential trades and we'll look at the important news for today as well guys. It's your one-stop shop uh, for trades. Um, so guys, let's start with yesterday. So one of the trade ideas were, was this, Euro against the Swiss franc. All right, so this is the day chart that you're looking at guys. Um, and as you can see, price was in a downtrend and then, in a, and then in a bit of a range, okay? But then it finally it broke out of this range with this very large bullish candle here. And ever since that has happened, guys, I am all over buying this pair, okay? We've had a structure change to the upside. You know, it's come out of a range, which I like as well. Yeah, all over buys with this pair. Buy, buy, buy. And then if we drop down to the H1, guys, that's exactly what we were trying to do. So, yeah, price on the H1, as you can see, guys, let me zoom out a little bit. There's this nice grey zone through here. Okay, So price has reacted many times in this grey zone and further back this way as well. Okay, So we wanted to see some price action we wanted to see a bullish reaction here. And we got it, guys. We got it with this candle. Okay. So I entered here, put my stop below these lows. Okay. And as you can see, guys, my I, I don't trade with a stop loss. I trade with a hedge. So my hedge got taken, taken out, guys. All right. And then and then basically, guys, what am I looking for to get back out of that hedge? And it's basically this, yeah. Once we see, you know, price build up again, okay, then I'm looking to get out of this hedge. I actually got out of this hedge late last night, okay, at a, at a small loss. So I got out around here. Okay, guys, so I'm out of this hedge. I'll put a new hedge down here, all right, and I'm still looking to buy this pair, okay, is still nothing but a buy for me, okay? And this will be a buy uh, trade for today as well, guys. So, you know, hedging, or even if you don't hedge, guys, you needed a couple of bites at this cherry. There was this candle, this candle you could have entered on, or even this candle, okay? All of these, you know, apart from the initial one, were good entries, okay? So if this if this first entry doesn't work out, no problem. I can hedge down to here. Maybe I could take this candle. Yeah. Close my hedge, put a new hedge in or take this candle, you know. So it's it's difficult to pick the exact time this pair wants to go back up. All right. But, you know, we can get in and out of hedges to help us do that. Um, interestingly, guys, if we look at the H4 with this pair, it was a bit of a Fibonacci play because if you look, if you look here on the chart where price reacted, you'll be like, you know, where where's the support? There's no there's no support historically. Where is the support? Well, let me show you. If we plot a fib, if we plot the Fibonacci uh, the fib levels, guys. All right, you can see it had a nice bounce off the 0 0.5 fib level. Yeah. So sometimes, guys, you know, you can plot the FIB levels. Yeah, it, is a, the, I, I like FIB levels because they're real-time data. Most indicators are lagging, but this is real-time data. And as you can see, it worked out nicely. We got a reaction at the 0 0.5 level. And price has been storming up. Um, so, yeah, I was, was hedged. I'm out the hedge. I'm still looking to buy this. Um, so, yeah, it was a good trade eventually, guys. It was a good trade eventually. The second pair I was looking at yesterday was this was New Zealand Japanese yen. Yeah, and look at this. This was a you know a lovely direction, done exactly what we expected. So what are we looking at, guys? So we were looking at an uptrend. Right? This is the day chart, you know, we were in an uptrend. Once price got back to this level, we we're thinking, okay, is price breaking down? But it never did. Okay. Instead, price built up. 
and we started getting, you know, higher lows, higher highs. Okay, so we were in an uptrend. And we had this, you know, bullish candle that also broke out of this support uh, resistance over here. And the idea was just to come back up to this target. And look at that. You know, that that's, you know, that happened in no time. If we look at the H1 chart, guys, yeah, where could we enter? It was a little bit tricky because at this point, yeah, I'm thinking price is breaking down on the H1, okay? But, you know, if, if we just traded the first bullish H1 candle, which is a, is a strategy I'm looking at, guys. I'm going to share this on the VIP Discord, yeah? Then, you know, you could have entered on this candle. Or if not, if you wanted to wait for a break of these highs, this candle, okay? Put your stop below here on both of these candles and then ride, you know, this trade up. Yeah, the direction was beautiful, guys. Hit target in no time. Okay, so yeah, Euro, Swiss, Franc and New Zealand Yen were the trade ideas from yesterday. We're still in Euro, Swiss, Franc, so let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, and they were the only two trades, guys. So let's take a look at today's trades now. <music> guys, I hope you enjoyed the recap. If you did, maybe you took one of the trades, then come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button. And if everyone right now could just smash the like button, guys, give you two seconds to do it. Everyone, please smash that like button. Let me hear you click on the like button. Thank you. Thank you, Shan. Um, yeah, it helps support the channel, guys. Much appreciated. So trades for Thursday, the 15th of June. So there were lots of almost trades. But yeah, I've narrowed it down to a couple, guys, which I will share with you. Um, before we do, let me tell you what cool things we do on the channel. So first of all, guys, we've got a free Discord channel. Yeah. If you haven't joined it, join it. It's free. Yeah. You get trade ideas from there from other traders. You get uh, indicators. You get uh, useful links. There's books on there. There's loads of cool things, guys. So come join the free Discord. There's also the VIP Discord. If you would like to join that, you do have to pay. You get access to me throughout the trading day. You can ask me as many questions as you like throughout the trading day. Um, I give you my trade ideas as and when they happen. You get exclusive content, which you won't see anywhere else. And you get access to a performance coach and other VIP traders. So, guys, what's not to like? Yeah, come join that as well. Secondly, guys, um, what is secondly? Yes, my mentorship program. If you would like to be coached or mentored one-on-one -on -one with myself, then drop us an email and we'll send you the details of the mentorship program. You'll find the email on our channel. Um, thirdly, guys, you can also support the channel now. Yeah, we've got YouTube membership. It's only a small amount of money each month. You get some perks. You get some emojis, exclusive content, depending on your membership. And finally, guys, don't forget the live stream Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. New York EST time. So I will see you this afternoon for that. Get all of your questions ready, guys. Ask me anything you like about trading. Right. OK, then, guys. So that is that. Let's look at the trade ideas. So you can see euro swiss franc you can see i'm on the chart it is still a trade idea i like this trade for buys yeah we went through it in the recap but just to show you guys yeah we were in a we was in a bit of a downtrend yeah then a range yeah price was just ranging but if you're in a downtrend and price is not making lower lows yeah the trend could be over and potentially a change in trend and then bang yeah, as soon as we got this big bullish candle, that is a change in trend. We are seeing higher highs. All right, if we zoom in a little bit now, yeah, you can see we, we've got this big candle. But now look at this wick. Look at this wick that's rejected, you know, rejected out, out of this area of, you know, what was once the range, guys. 
Okay, so we've got a real rejection here. Buyers have come into this market again, and I'm just looking to buy this pair, potentially all the way back up to here. All right, so that's what we're seeing. Um, if we drop down to the H4, guys, yeah, because I, I know, again, I showed you in the recap, but this seems like a bit of a fib, Fibonacci play. Yeah, price reacted to this 0.5 fib level and, you know, bounced off ever since. So I think we can take price, you know, back up to here and then carry on. OK, so that's the H4. Let me show you the H1 so I can show you um, our entry. And pretty much, guys, you know, this grey zone hasn't changed. Yeah, this grey zone here hasn't changed. So. All I'm looking for, guys, is a bit of a retrace back into this grey zone. Yeah. And then we get a bullish reaction and we take price higher. Yeah. We've already had a, you know, build up of H1 structure, as you can see. You know, we're above the moving average 20. Yeah. And all I'm looking for, guys, is a bullish reaction in this grey zone. And when I say bullish reaction, guys, I need to know that buyers are in control of the market so i just want to see a candle you know it doesn't matter if you don't know every candlestick pattern yeah there's there's loads out there it doesn't matter what what you need to analyze is on that candle have buyers taken control yeah that's all you need to ask yourself who's in control according to this candle that's reacted in my gray zone my support and resistance zone who is in control yeah and if you think buyers are in control yeah buy it take price back up to here okay guys so yeah euro swiss franc we're looking to buy this pair um from this gray zone i mean if price did come all the way back down to here we could still look for buyers off of these lows um, so that's the first trade idea. My second and final trade idea, before I give you it, guys, if everyone right now could just press the like button. Yeah, everyone, the big thumbs up like button, please press it right now. Help support the channel. Thank you. My editor will be happy. Um the last trade is this pound Aussie dollar. And I'm still in a I'm in a I've literally I'm going to explain this hedge in my VIP Discord. Okay, It needs more explanation than what I can give it today, guys. So, yeah, VIP Discord crew, I will explain this hedge further. I've got back out of this hedge. But look look at these candles. Yeah, crazy, crazy price action. Anyway, let's start with the day chart, guys. So, for me... We're in a downtrend. And for anyone else who's looking at this chart, yeah, we were in an uptrend and then bang. Yeah, we're in a downtrend. Okay. We've now come back up to an interesting area because this was once support. It could now be good resistance in here. All right. So we still, you know, potentially take price down to here. So that's what we're seeing, guys. Yeah, downtrend. And also, you know, I like this. I like this wick. Yeah, I like this candle. And if you remember what I said to you yesterday, guys, I'm, I don't know if you remember this, but this is an inside candle and it's pretty much exactly what happened. So this is the previous candle. This candle is the inside candle. And what usually happens is it takes the top of this candle out and then closes back into this candle. Yeah, I'm not making this up. I did say this yesterday. Yeah, and it closed back in. Yeah, so we're looking to short this pair today. Um, if we drop down now to the H1, let's check for how we can enter this pair. So my VIP members will know this is this has been the bane of my life. But now, you know, we're looking like sellers are in control. Ignore all these yellow lines, guys. This is all part of my hedging that I did with this pair. Right. But what are we looking at today in terms of entries? So if we wanted an aggressive entry, you know, you could potentially enter now. Yeah. We've had this large bullish candle. You know, um, we could, you know, potentially enter here. 
I would put my stop above here. If you start putting it above here, it you know, the, the stop just gets crazy big. Yeah. So that's one idea because it's it's still this grey zone in here that I've plotted days ago. It still hasn't broken this grey zone. I know that may seem crazy, but this wick and this wick have closed back into this grey zone. So that is not a break of this grey zone. This grey zone, remarkably, is holding. Okay, so, you know, we could, or even this, guys, we get a little bit of a retrace into this grey zone, you know, and we could enter, put your stop above here, because we've arguably had the entry candle already, and then we could look to take price lower. All right, I'd probably take some profit here because there's an area of support here and then let some run. Or, guys, if we want to be more conservative, yeah, we've got this level here. Let me zoom out so you can see this level, this other grey zone here. See this grey zone here, guys? Price has reacted here, here, and here. Okay, so what do we want to see? We want to see a break of this level, yeah? Price comes down. Yeah, maybe hits it again. We get a break of this level. We could perhaps start entering here. Yeah, and take price lower. Could get a retrace, then come lower. Yeah, so both of those options are feasible, guys. Um, I'm going to be more aggressive with this trade because I'm in a hedge. Okay, I'm, I'm actually, again, I got out of my hedge again. I will explain in the VIP Discord. But those are the two trade ideas for today, guys. Euro, Swiss, franc, we're still looking to buy that. And pound, Aussie, dollar, short. Okay, um, everyone, if you could like, if you could smash the like button, if you enjoyed my trade ideas. Um, let's take a look at the news now. So news for Thursday, the 15th of June, guys. We've got more big news today. Um, if we carry on down, guys, overnight, we had some industrial production figures coming out of China. They were worse than expected. Um, but what are we interested in, guys? The first piece of news we are interested in, and it is big daddy news yeah, or big mummy news. I don't want to be sexist. Big daddy or big mummy news. We have got the euro interest rate decision. OK, so this is really going to move the markets, guys. So as you can see, they're expecting a 25 basis increase um, on the interest rate, guys. So like I said yesterday, they normally get these correct. You know, yesterday's was correct. I'm sure today's will be correct. Yeah. Um, and if it is. Yeah, maybe the market won't react that much, but when it will react is when we have the press conference later, which I will show you. Yeah, if I could just scroll down. Uh, I'll show you that shortly, guys. But yeah, must be aware of this. 115 London GMT. We've got the deposit facility rate, you know, e ECB marginal lending, the statement, and the rate decision as well, guys. So this is clearly, clearly going to move the euro. Okay. Don't forget this deposit facility rate. This is just as important if this is a miss. OK, so, yeah, that's going to move the markets, guys. 15 minutes later, if that's not enough, we've then got two three star ratings coming out of the US. We've got core retail sales and we've got initial jobless claims. So these are big, big pieces of data as well. Um, and uh, Philly Fed manufacturing. OK, so all of that in the space of, you know, 15 minutes, the markets are going to go bananas and bananas is a technical term. Um, and then what I was talking about, okay, and again, yeah, we've got another retail sales, yeah, all at 130 as well, guys. So, yeah, 115 to 130, volatile markets. And then, guys, this is what I was talking about. 145, we've got the ECB press conference. So half an hour after the interest rate, you are going to get them talking about the interest rate. How did they arrive at their decision? Future projections? What are they seeing in the economy? This kind of things. And this is what really makes the euro uh, volatile. Yeah, because people are trading off their every words. So, yeah, this is more important than the actual, uh, you know, interest rate itself. 
And then after that, guys, we can all, you know, calm down, maybe, you know, keep the shirt on our backs and we'll be okay. All right, guys. So, yeah, another busy news day. Um, and, guys, do not forget my live stream, 8 a.m. New York EST time today. Get your questions ready. If you've enjoyed the vid, everyone smash the like button and come join us. Yeah, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you later, guys.